Hello to our fans online. I'm Paula Ferris. And I'm Rob Nelson with the top stories on this Tuesday, December the 4th. We begin with a developing story. Iran State TV is now reporting that the Revolutionary Guard has captured a U.S. drone. And that is raising fears that sensitive intelligence information could now be in the hands of Iranian officials. And Iranian uh, general says that the drone, quote, intruded into Iran's airspace. No confirmation from U.S. officials. ABC News, of course, will be following the story throughout the morning. We will keep you updated on TV and online. And amid tough negotiations to avoid going over that so-called fiscal cliff, President Obama meets with a bipartisan group of governors today about the problem. That meeting comes a day after House Speaker John Boehner laid a Republican plan to solve the crisis on the table. The Republican's official counteroffer, it calls for $800 billion in higher tax revenue and doesn't increase taxes on wealthy Americans, though. However, the White House is rejecting the offer, saying any deal must include an end to tax cuts for families making over $250,000 a year. And a new report says that NFL player Jovan Belcher spent the night with another woman just hours before killing his girlfriend and then taking his own life. The New York Post reports that Belcher had dinner and drinks with the woman and then went back to her apartment. The report says he fell asleep in his car, was awakened by police, then slept for a few hours inside that woman's apartment. After he woke up, he drove home to his girlfriend, shot her nine times in front of his mom, then drove to the Kansas City Chiefs practice facility and shot himself. The baby watch has started in Britain. Duchess of Cambridge, Kate Middleton, is pregnant at just 12 weeks. It's a challenging pregnancy. She's been hospitalized with a pretty rare condition that causes severe nausea as well as dehydration. As she's getting better care, though, the British people are already talking about baby names and gender, and bookies are even starting to take bets. No word yet on the due date. They believe she's still in her first trimester. You already placed your bet, didn't you? Yeah, of course. And one more reason to love Sin City. It's the new Denny's that just opened, a 24 hour joint that has a full bar. And since it's Las Vegas, of course there's a wedding chapel. They offer a range of wedding packages, some including cakes made of Denny's delicious pancake puppies. What could be better? You know, the only thing that I can think would make would improve on Denny's is cookies, because it's National Cookie Day. And yes, we want to thank our friends over at uh, Insomnia Cookies here. These, mm -hmm. these are some good, Amazing. good stuff. So go ahead, have would a fifth. Like to, I'm going to have a tenth. You want we'll to hit it again with your go. pen? Yeah. Hit the box again? <laughs> <laughs> Just like to point out for the folks at home. <laughs> what do Americans consume? About 300 cookies a year? Well, that's They don't work overnights, obviously. No, <laughs> Many more, more than that. More like 600. <laughs> you can get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Rob Nelson. And I'm Paula Ferris. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Eat a cookie. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it.